Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever... Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory. And, of course, I will need a place to stop... I will build you something when I can. Have... What is it you... If you find any Roman... I must take... Valet, Eivor. about this land, my friend. Guide me. Nite odoremus et ada talata meru. Ut congregentur ad Marcus et dixit ad vulgare. Good day. What is your name? 
I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. And are you a flighter? When the mood strikes. Do you wish to flight with me? Oh, no, certainly not. I don't engage in such things. Haven't a head for it. My brother, however, he is quite proficient. Ah, then you wish to compete with me. I should mention, my brother has taken a strict vow of silence. If you wish to flight, I will translate and relay his verses. I think I understand. Good. Hark! To those gathered round, wave your hands and rejoice. I shall trounce this poor fool without use of my voice. Such is his challenge. Do you wish to face him? I'll happily challenge you. Here you are, my bet. Good. Now remember, it is not me you are flighting. I am but a conduit for his words. I will keep this well in mind. Good. He is ready. Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy I'll call you a milksop and boor. Though you speak through another, your flighting's still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. Though you choose to be quiet, your folly is loud. Oh my! Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. With such drivel to speak, I see why you keep mum. Very fine work. As an impartial observer, I must say you won. Thank you. My brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. Come on, I've got the good stuff. Lead on, good my friend. There's no beer like no beer. It cannot be so. It can't. <laughs> what can I tempt you with? You should always be fully stopped. These will come in very handy.
one of my better pieces. This could come in very handy. Until next we meet. I'm off. Oh, you must try my ale sometime. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something, such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death. Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fort... Perhaps, perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Basim? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. 
But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tebman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks? Rest do those roughly. parchment skin Christians ever eat meat? Don't you believe in Jesus? They must have because he died Where for our sins. sins. No one will stop me sucking the marrow from a nice leg of lamb, not even God's seed. Over here. I'm wary of this abbot method. He is self serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. 